Hello students, Ms. Myers and Ms. Jones here to talk to you about your schedule for next year. The scheduling process is going to look a little different this year than what you're used to, but we're committed to making the process as safe and efficient as possible. We're going to do a brief overview today about scheduling, but you will meet with a, C a counselor or CTE teacher in February to finalize your course selections for next year. As announced a few weeks ago, every Friday from February 5th through March 5th, students will not come to campus for face-to-face -face classes, but rather receive asynchronous instruction. We will be utilizing these Fridays for scheduling conferences, beginning with the class of 2022 on February 12th. The class of 2023 will have their conferences on February 19th, followed by the class of 2024 on February 26th. Please check your student email and the campus website for the Friday date and time of your scheduling appointment. Your fifth period teacher should have given you a copy of a pick sheet, your transcript, and personal graduation plan, or PGP. Ms. Jones will briefly go over the pick sheets in just a bit for you to begin making selections. However, you will be required to leave all three of these documents with your fifth period teacher today. Feel free to take a picture of the endorsement election options on the back of your pick sheet so that you may begin thinking about your elective selections. Now, just a little bit about required classes for graduation. Every student begins their high school career on the foundation program with an endorsement. Your endorsement can be found on your transcript or your PGP and updates to those pathways can be made as needed. To graduate on this plan, keep in mind the following graduation requirements. To earn a diploma on the foundation plan with an endorsement, you must have four credits in English, four math credits to include Algebra 1 and Geometry, four science credits, which must include biology and IPC or chemistry, three social studies credits, which must include world geography or world history, U.S. history, and government and economics, one credit of PE, two credits of a language other than English, here at LHS we offer Spanish or American Sign Language, and one fine art credit. You will also need a minimum of seven electives, four to fulfill your endorsement pathway, and three additional electives that will get you to the magic number of 26 credits needed to meet the state requirements for graduation. All of this information can be found on page eight of the course catalog under quick links on the LHS website. Just a quick note about dual credit classes before Ms. Jones takes over. Through our dual credit partnership with Lee College, students may choose to take classes that receive college credit as well as high school credit. Mr. Littlejohn, our college and career advisor, will be providing you with more information about the dual enrollment process, including Apply Texas and TSI requirements. More information about dual credit can also be found in the course catalog on pages 16 through 19. Now take a moment to look at the top of your colored pick sheet. It should say grade 10, 11, or 12 in the top corner. This reflects the grades you will be entering next school year. Keep that in mind as I turn things over to Ms. Jones to go over your selections. 